Hello, everybody. Welcome to day two of Operation Love. I'm Sherry, and I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Rosemary? I'm Rosemary, and I'm so happy to be with Sherry and back with you guys <laughs> to celebrate our secret missions. What an amazing job you are already doing. All the feedback has been phenomenal. You guys, we loved your stories on day one. Thank you over and over. Rosemary and I were just saying, both of us were teary when we were reading them. And I hope that if you haven't yet had a chance to read the stories from day one, please go back and do that. It will make your day. And my favorite part, I got so, in addition to weeping all day long as I read them, I, I had so many great ideas for things that I would like to do to pass it forward. It was, it was really exciting to see how people were, we're responding to the prompt and, and making it work. Absolutely. So everybody ready for our day two? Just like we did yesterday? Rosemary, you wanna start us off? I'll start us off. So today's theme is kindness to strangers. And we're gonna start with this poem called, It Won't Make the News, which incidentally was inspired by a painting by a woman named Ruth Bavetta. And you can see that there's a link to the to the painting if you want to see it, uh, and that's in the printable for the poem. It won't make the news. What we really need is to gather in the street and talk to each other, any street, lined with shrubs or tenements, paved or dirt or cobblestone, with orange cones or with wooden barriers to set off the block so we can talk, can talk and listen and watch the day go by. Some will join us. They'll wonder why we've gathered. They'll pull out their binoculars <laughs> as if there's something more to see. There's always something more to see. There's Always something more to see, like the way the light comes through the hedge and makes it more gold than green. Hey, did you hear that nightingale? When is the last time you heard one? All my life, I've been too busy. Rushing from one here to the next. But look what happens when we gather in the street and gawk in whatever direction. We start to become a we. You and me, the man in the yellow plaid shirt, the cop, the woman in the white tennis shoes. It doesn't matter how we vote or where we've been or how much we make or if we pray. Here we are in the same place on the same day, not because someone died. Not because someone's done something wrong. There is no one to cheer for but us. We'll go back to our homes soon enough. But for now, here we are, doing the most important work. Gathering together in the streets to notice together the scent of fall, the warmth of mid-afternoon sun, the way all our shadows fall in the same direction. Oh, I almost just wanted to just stop right there. I could barely, you know, it's so beautiful. One thing I want to say before I give the prompt, Rosemary, I don't think you know this part. I told you that I sometimes use this poem in my coaching. I think I told you that piece. So, because I love it, it's about connecting. It's about connecting to strangers to the wider community. But one time I sent it to my mom and she wrote me back and she said, I'm the woman in the white tennis shoes. Oh, <laughs> she self-selected into the poem. That's awesome. <laughs> so when you read it just now, I realized like I always picture her as part of that gathering, you know? So it just has a special place that's so great. I love that. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, yes. Oh, love that poem. Okay, so your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to connect with a stranger today. Start a conversation, offer a compliment, lend a hand to someone in need. Reach out to someone you've never met before and share a moment together. 
two humans, a we. If you want to gather extra intel, try slipping that stranger a copy of today's poem along with a smile. Watch what happens. Report back. How'd your mission go? What was your interaction like? How did you choose the stranger? How did it feel? Did you give anyone the poem? We love to hear all those details, like today, this day one, those details of, of who you chose and why and what you said, they just made it come to life. So we love to hear it. Anything else you want to add, Rosemary? Congratulations and thank you, Secret Agents. This is really fun doing this together. This is fabulous. Thank you. You are, you are the best Secret Agents we could ask for. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.